Welcome back at How to Bucket, and today we are going to be featuring our episode 5, which is going to be group manager and permissions, and that is one of the topics that even advanced people could need because it's quite complicated, and it's very important for a very good server, so you will want to, you know, check this out, and I will be linking the old episodes up here on how to start up your server and get the setup that I have here on my left side and I'm gonna get started by opening our server folder and in plugins we already have essentials and we have this full server uh, full folder and now we have these last two things and just drag these into plugins too and start our server back up drag that here And now that's going to start up our server, and it's also going to be loading Group Manager. And as we did in the last episode, we can just, when that's done, by the way, it's not going to be done. It's going to be Group Manager as the last output now, but we can just type stop. So that's going to be stopping the server, and press any key to continue. There we go. Now we go into our Plugins folder here, and now we have Group Manager, and we really don't need to worry about this. I usually just go in here and you have a lot of stuff here in the global groups thing and I usually just go boom, all gone, just type groups and a colon, save that up and that's it. I don't like global groups, they're pretty annoying and I don't use them. Uh, now let's get into our config here and we really don't need anything of this, but as you see here, it says mirrors, and that means world here is our parent world, and world nether and world the end are child world, so they will uh, inherit the users and the groups from world, so we don't even need global groups because we inherit the worlds and we could add whatever world we want here if we need it. And this is data save, so it's going to save the group manager config uh, every 10 minutes, but you can do that manually with a command too. And op override, so we'll op be able to do everything. I usually have that on. And uh, it's pretty useful because you can promote yourself as an op and yeah, like that. And validate toggle, so will it actually, you know, search for online players? So you don't have to type in the full name. You can also set that in game with the man toggle validate command, but that's not the main file here. And by the way, I could just go ahead and where is it? Close all but this and close that back down. And really important now is in worlds, world, and now the users file is not important at all. You can just look in here, but that's just the creators of the plugin. We can remove them, but I like to keep them and get into groups and now we are in here and since we remove the global groups we have to go into inheritance on every group remove all of these like that only the g double point uh, g colon things we have to remove those like that and keep that vanish all right, and we don't need this one either, or this one, I'll not need it. All right, let's get into this. All right, uh, so what we see here is our groups. Every group is right here, and under here is default, in permissions, and inheritance. And inheritance means that it's going to inherit the permissions of, an, of another group. So for example, for this group, it wouldn't get any permissions from any group, but Builder here would get every permission that this group already has. So if we get this group, like permission, uh, make sure not to use tab, you have to use spaces. And then Builder is gonna be having permissions too. Uh, this permission is, it's like if we would put in not tab, 
permission here, we don't need to do that because it comes up from default and we don't ever need to worry about that. So for example, we could set our basic permissions on the guest group but not allow them to build, which is down here, build true or false. False means they can't build, while true means they can build. And prefix, obviously, is a chat prefix, which color they're going to get in-game. Ops will still get a different color, which you can change by, in the Essentials config, ops name color, just type none. And suffix is going to be behind the name, and prefix is in front of the name. So you could, for example, type in, like, guest, and that's going to be displayed in front of the name just like this, which could be pretty useful to identi identify the players a little easier. So you could in type in here like guest and make the name like white. So F is white. The color codes are on multiple of my videos, also on my second to last, I believe. And yeah, you get like this F and then and the name is going to be white, but this prefix is going to be yellow because E is yellow. And that's how that works. So now we want to find out what permissions do we have to add here. And there is one exception, which is down here, owner. We don't have to add any permissions to owner, even though it has inheritance. It doesn't even need that, because it has permissions. And then this means it gets every permission by default. So every permission that can possibly be granted, this owner gets it. Uh, usually the owner is also an op, so it doesn't really matter for that, but it could be pretty useful and you don't have to add anything in this. So let's, it's, oh by the way, only one group can have default true. But that should be obvious. So let's get into what permissions to add here and how to make a safe server and yeah, how to prevent a bit of griefing and what permission is best for what. So I'll be right back and yeah, see you then. All right, and I have now opened my web browser and I've gone to this website, which I'm going to be linking in the description as always. and you will be having here a button which is going to say view permissions only, which I already pressed. So now we have all of this, all of these permissions and they're sorted by what they're used for. So I assume that you have all of this general, which would be general for everyone and moderator, which they suggest to give to moderators only and also various here. But uh, this is essential to permissions and we are going to go through a few of them and they, all, they are always described on the right side and if you press commands you will be seeing which commands they're going to be having and you can find out a bit about them. And for example, I don't usually give the cheat commands out to anyone, but for example AFK, so essentials.afk, copy that and this is a very long way of doing it. You could also just from the global groups in the beginning copy all their permissions over. But I don't like doing that because I like to build it from the startup. And that way it's more secure and I have a better understanding of what permission who has. So you see here I added essential to AFK and you have to add it like that under permissions. So now you have to no tab, new line, and which, what else do I want them? For example, I want them to type the help command to get some help on essentials and the commands. So I do this and type essentials help or copy that in there and that's fine. By the way, what happens if we type it with a tab? We are, what else? For example, help ob, which is going to allow them to ask questions in a specific channel that only admins can read. So, you know, they don't have to ask public, this happens. My notepad plus plus marks it red because it's not valid. So we will have to, and it's going to print out an error if we wanted to save that like that and start that up, it would have printed an error. And that is that. 
and I have a, a very good groups YML finished. If you want, I'm going to upload that to wherever and give you that as a download. It's pretty good. It's all nicely set up and it has a lot of permissions. It's very nice. And I'm going to load that in here so it doesn't take so long. And I suggest you go through this list and look out the commands you want, which group to have. And I will be back once I copy that in. And also, remember, every plugin has different permissions. So, for example, these are all the permissions for the Essentials plugin. But uh, there is multiple plugins that have multiple permissions. So you will see there's going to be differences. And you will have to add more and more over time once you add more plugins into it. But you will get into that. And this is also very useful for, you know, finding out all about the commands. And this website is going to be linked. And I'll be back in a second when I got my good groups. All right, so I'm back. And as you see, I've gotten quite some permissions here. It's not that many, but it's a few and it's very good. It works out very well. And I have four groups, which is owner, guest, player, and moderator. And you see they all don't have too many permissions, but they have enough to roll with. And it's still fun to, you know, run around with them. And it also gets your server pretty secure. So, you know, people don't start griefing or abusing commands. And that's this part. And, yeah, I might upload this file if you want me to. Ask in the comments. And as you see, you have to do this step by step in order to get a really good it, good result. And this always worked very, very well for me. And yeah, it's pretty good. So you see the prefixes, they're a bit weird, but you will see in game what they actually meant. See, I have a bracket here and a bracket here and multiple colors. And this is four, which is dark red. So you see a white bracket here. If you don't put a color code in front of one, it's this is white too. Everything behind this, so the name will be dark red, then another white bracket and white text. So that is that. And yeah, I will see you in the in-game episode of this plugin. And I'm just going to start up the server one so you can see that it works just fine with Avira. And Let's, nope, that's not it. And you want to go into your server folder and server start. Drag that back here. And that's going to start up real quick. There you go, group manager, no errors at all. Just, you know, severe group manager warning there is no group builder as stated for player Snow Leo because he was in the user's file, so he is set to guest. That's not important, you can ignore that. And is it list groups? Yep, it's list groups. So you type in list groups and you see all the available groups and you see here player, monitor, owner and guest. So that worked. So I will be back in the in-game episode and stay tuned for that.